How are y'all? Bianca, how you doing? I'm good. Yeah, well, we didn't see the scrimmage, but we heard a little bit about it from Gus about how you guys were getting after the, the quarterback. Uh, what kind of scrimmage was it, and, and how, how successful were you uh, rushing the quarterback? Um, it was a it was like a finding out thing scrimmage. So like we got to find out. Well, in, during practice we we're hitting each other, so we already kind of used to it. So like during the scrimmage, it's just like the tackling part: who can tackle, who can really rush the quarterback. So. Um, like the younger guys today, they were getting to the quarterback. The linebackers were too. But me, I had to work on a little bit, but I'll definitely get there. How good of a feeling was it to actually get into a scrimmage situation? As you said, it's kind of just running through drills and hitting each other a little bit. But how good was it to maybe get into some actual you know, game type you know, situations? It felt good. Just being like a few couple months off of it, like it felt good to get back to it. Definitely was a great feeling. Like just the contact, the hitting, just gets your – Adrenaline running again. Okay, obviously in this offseason, the big focus has been beefing up stock and the run better going into next season. Um, how much of that do you feel like you saw today? Obviously, it's still early. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, I, I guess, is that the best part of the scrimmage is to kind of put those things you've been working on into practice? Is that what we're saying? Yes, sir. Definitely just stopping the run, like just doing our job, not trying to do anybody else's job and striking the offensive opponent, like just getting knocked back. And I feel like we did a great job today stopping the run. Okay. Obviously, there's some young guys looking to step up this year in your room, Jamal, uh, Cave, and Isaiah. How did they look today, and what have you seen from them this spring? Uh, Jamal, he looked pretty good. I couldn't see, really see Cave because he was really on the field with me on the other side, so I didn't really get to see what he did. But Jamal, he was hustling to the ball, got a few TFLs today. I believe he might have got in on the sack. And then Isaiah, he did good. He's, he just got to work on some stuff, but he's going to be good. If you had to grade, you know, first team defense, first team offense, who won? Who won the scrimmage, offense or defense? I say defense, because <laughs> they only scored what, like one touchdown on us, so that's pretty, pretty good. I'm saying. Any any plays that happened on defense that popped out, or is there anything that was exciting for you guys on the defense side of the ball today? Um, yeah, like when um, RJ, when KJ passed it to RJ, and um, he came in, uh, 13 came and hit him, Ben. He came and hit him. Um, that really excited us. That turned us up. Yes, sir. Now, for me, when I was playing offensive line, what got me better was a defensive line. We turned that around on you as a defensive line. How would you grade uh, what the offensive line did today? They're doing – I believe that – I was going against Amari Kite today, so he was pretty good. He had a great pass protection today, so I had to work on a few moves to beat him. But I feel like the offensive line did pretty good today. You got a chance to see KJ in his scrimmage situation. What was that like? How, how did you – guys feel going up against him and are you guys getting more kind of comfortable being able to see how he's playing mm -hmm, yes like he threw a good couple balls today so like just seeing him out there throwing great balls it's pretty good especially like on defense just knowing like he can do it under the pressure that we're bringing I believe that's good after the first couple weeks of spring now who has really impressed you who's really having a good spring um I say Lee Hunter like he's already been Doing good, but he's even, he's doing even better. Like he's definitely improved. So watch out for him. Another big season for him. I know you mentioned Lee Hunter's obviously having a a good spring and stuff. Who else is besides maybe having a good spring? I maybe defensive line or any of your you know, defensive teammates. Uh, who's who's been standing out? Um, Dalen Dotson. He's been standing out with good pass rush. Just he came from um, UT Martin. Yeah. And so he's been standing out. And uh, Matthew Alexander. He had a good day today. He had a few TFLs and Andrew Rump. So definitely seen some improvement from him. Okay. He's pretty good. Okay. Yes, sir. Coach Malzahn said that you guys had three or four sacks. Uh, do you know the players that had the sacks? Um, I think Andrew Rump and Dalen Dawson, um, Derek LeBlanc. Um, uh, Bar and I forgot the other one, but yeah, we had some some new guys, some young guys getting the sack, so that's pretty good. Yes, sir. You mentioned you know some of the transfers. Like how how are these guys you know helping the defense? A lot of these guys have started multiple seasons at other places. Like how are those how are those guys going to help your defense this right. year? It's just like they're bringing the enthusiasm and like hyping us up, and then they're also experienced, so they know like what to do. Even if it's a new system, they're still learning the call, so they can play it fast, like they did at their old school. 
Yes. Malachi, how much more of a leader are you trying to be this season? Obviously, had a stellar season last season, but you're one of the top guys now this season. How much more of a leader are you trying to be? I'm trying to. This I'm trying to be like way more of a leader. Just like leading our team is important to me now. Just the young guys, they're looking up to me now, so I have to. I can't just slack off like I may have used to. Like they're seeing my every move, so I have to put it out there. Just be out there and do everything correctly. Yes, sir.